Hey y'all, welcome back to Ursus Life. I'm so excited to have you guys here today for my Way in Wednesday. I've decided that going forward, I'm going to have a Way in Wednesday where um, I take my measurements and my weight every Wednesday morning and I'll share it with you guys. Now, it may not be up on Wednesday, but I will do it on Wednesday. So, we'll jump right into it. From last Wednesday to this Wednesday, I lost 3.2 pounds and it's brought my total to 14 pounds from August 31st to Wednesday, September 28th. And I wrote down a list because I was wondering, you know, maybe what have I done so differently in the last almost 30 days from what I was doing in May, June, and July because I was walking, but something really happened and kicked into gear for this last month and I'm seeing um, much larger results. Even though I wasn't weighing in May, June, and July, I can tell a big difference in how I feel, in my clothes, um, how things fit, and the numbers back it up because I'm 14 pounds lighter than I was, you know, from August 31st. Um, and I know that there was some weight loss because I could tell it, but it just wasn't a whole lot. And so I made a, a quick list just to see what was I doing? What's different? What's made the difference here? And I came up with five things and I just wanted to share those right quick. Um, <clears throat> number one is calorie counting because with Eat Like a Bear, you really don't have to count your calories because if you just make the salad, you follow the template it's not going to be a lot. It's usually around, around between 1200 to like 15, 1600 calories, depending on what you put on your salad. And if you follow what <laughs> eat like a bear tells you to put on your salad, uh, it, it's, that's what you're going to get. But what I was running into is when I'm not making the salad, you know, and I'm cooking or I'm out and I have to grab something, uh, not really counting those calories or little snacks that you get in between, a protein bar here, granola bar there, some yogurt here. So I wasn't very mindful of those things. But now I've set myself a ceiling, of, well, a floor of 1,400 calories a day up to 1700 so depending on what I'm having what I'm fixing what I'm buying that's my range and I've been sticking to it so the first thing is calorie counting and then I set myself an actual set calories to not go above and because what's the point in counting them if I'm just going to have 3,000 of them it doesn't really matter right so it just makes me more mindful of what I'm consuming and by writing it down, I've been writing it down in my journal, every single thing that I have and writing down the calories. And I just Google it. I don't have an app. I'm terrible with apps. Uh, I don't do it on my phone because that never works for me. I am a pencil and paper girl. And y'all know that because I showed you my new handy dandy book <laughs> last week. So those are the two, two first things. And the third thing has been the walking. Now, walking has been wonderful. I am so glad that I started the the, um, the challenge for myself to walk one mile a day every day because that was really pushing it when I first started. It was a challenge. And as I've gotten more and more um, fit and able to walk further, faster, that type of thing, I've decided to extend my time and so my goal is still a minimum of one mile a day because that works for me. I can do that. It is not overwhelming. And it also at least gets me to do something when I don't feel like doing anything. But what I found is, is that I'm actually walking more. Usually it's around two miles a day, two and a half miles a day, three miles a day, because uh, I'm shooting to walk for an hour. So that additional activity, because I got to where I could walk a mile in about 15, 20 minutes. Well, now I'm tripling that to an hour 
and I'm seeing the results of that on the scale because I'm burning more calories. I'm also getting stronger. I can tell my legs are really um, getting much more toned and it's the additional time and the additional distance that I'm walking. And number four is keeping things as low carb as possible. Now, again, when you're eating like a bear and you're having the salad, you're not gonna have a problem with that. But just like with the calories, the problem is when you're out and about and you are trying to um, buy something healthy-ish and most everything has bread or comes with fries and sugary drinks and this, that, and the third. So being more mindful of that when I'm out and not just saying, oh, well, you know, well, tomorrow I'll do better. <laughs> but right now I need to grab this. No, I am mindful of the carbs that I'm consuming. And even when I do have carbs, I my goal is to still fit it within my calorie range. Like for example, today I was out and I went to Subway, but the sub that I chose was one that fell within my calorie range. So it didn't just, you know, blow the calories for the day because I had a sub. And I just felt like that was the, be the best option available for me because I didn't want to go get a burger. I didn't want fries, that type of thing. I chose the sub and I loaded it down with vegetables and I chose like the, the, the one with the least amount of calories in it and then I loaded it up with vegetables. Make it work for me. That's what we have to do, right? Because we're not going to be like it's life. We have to make it work for us. But I think the most important thing that has happened, that has been the difference between August 31st and now, that's different from May through all of August, has been my mindset. And that has been a result of going through this workbook, doing Weight Loss God's Way, doing the activities and exercises that has really helped me to uh, understand more about myself, about why I've done the things that I've done, and then what I need to do to correct things that needed to be corrected. And that has been the most impactful thing on my weight loss in the last almost 30 days. And I say that because it's been easier to do the first four things. It's been easier to count the calories, to stay within a calorie deficit, to, to walk the extra miles, to choose better food options, because I want to do it. And if you've watched any of the other videos, you'll see that um, one of the one of the last lessons was talking about getting your your mind, you know, your thoughts, your words, and your your actions in line with each other. And the problem is, is when we're trying to when there's a fight and we're trying to make ourselves do something we don't really want to do. If you really want to go to McDonald's, you're trying to make yourself eat a salad you're probably going to end up at McDonald's sooner or later. If you don't go that day, you're probably going tomorrow. But it's a big difference when you don't want to go to McDonald's. That is the victory when you don't want to do it. And then it's easy to have things in the house. It doesn't matter if there's snacks in the house or other things around you. Or you go to a party, like I went to a birthday party on Saturday, I chose a salad. I enjoyed it. I loved it. They had cake and all kinds of desserts. It wasn't even like a temptation, um, even though I didn't feel like it would be wrong if I did have something, but I just chose not to. And that's power in that and the, the ability to make those decisions and those choices and feel good about it. Um, that's that makes a difference. So. I do think those five things have had the most impact on me over the last almost 30 days. And so I'm excited to continue this process and see what the next 30 days brings. Um, my goal is at least another 15 pounds because I do believe that by the end of September, which is just two days after this weigh-in, I'll probably be down another pound or maybe a little more. So, but I'm not going to weigh. I'm going to weigh next Wednesday. 
Um, so I think about 15 pounds a month would be fantastic. And I think it's also very doable. And that's going to be my goal. So anyway, um, that's all I have for today. Be on the lookout because I'm making the uh, Weight Loss God's Way video for week three of the of the workbook. And it has been fantastic. It's just more and more revelation and also great exercises to do so that I'm creating the life that I want. And that's what it's all about, right? It's like we have the ability to have the life we want. I'll probably record it tomorrow and then uh, and share the week three update. But it's been fantastic and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you guys. I'm on the lookout for that. And also, I have, I'm starting a new walking challenge on Monday. And I will be sharing my results on Instagram, Facebook, and also on the community page here. Walking one mile a day for 30 days. Now you can always do more. But if you want to walk with me, just let me know down below. And also be on the lookout because I'll make my first post on Monday. And then you can make your post. Or you can share. Or you can just make a comment. You don't have to share a picture. But I always show a picture of myself and of my Apple Watch after I've walked to show my distance and my time and I'll share them on Instagram and if you want to go back and see the other ones you'll be able to see the previous rounds of walking 30 miles a day and like I said the last one I just finished on uh, round I just finished this week so if you want to join me come on in like and subscribe below and I will see you guys later bye bye